This screencast will explain what happens to the aircraft when there is asymmetric loading on the propeller blades. So let's assume we have an aircraft traveling straight and level. It will have a relative velocity due to the rotational speed of the prop in this direction. It will have a relative velocity due to the aircraft's airspeed in this direction. And that will give us the actual relative velocity which the propeller sees. So if I reproduce this down below, there's my aircraft. If we're looking at the propeller, there is the um, vertical vector, here is the horizontal vector, and here is the relevant airspeed. And there's the angle of attack. Now if the aircraft pitches up slightly, if we look at the hub, we'll see that the angle of attack has increased slightly and that the relative air flow over the forward going blade or downward moving blade will have increased. Conversely, the airflow over the upward moving blade or the rearward moving blade will have decreased. If the aircraft pitches up slightly more and we look at the airflows, we can see that the angle of attack has increased and that the relative velocity over the downward or forward moving blade has increased. And conversely, the relative airflow over the upward or rearward moving blade uh, will have decreased. This will cause uh, an increase in thrust in the downward moving blade and a decrease in thrust in the upward moving blade. So as the aircraft pitches up, the angle of attack on the downward moving blade increases and the relative wind increasingly adds to the relative airflow as seen by the downward moving propeller. Both of these effects increase the thrust produced by the blade. Now let's see how it affects a twin engine aircraft. Let's assume we have a twin engine aircraft flying straight and level with two right hand propellers. Each blade will be producing equal amount of thrust. Now, if our aircraft pitches up, we now know that the downward moving prop increases its thrust and the upward moving uh, blade will decrease its thrust. So here we have reproduced here. So the downward moving blade will have an increase in thrust and the upward moving blade have a decrease in thrust. Now, this thrust acting further from the center line and this one acting closer to the center line, this will cause asymmetric loading and will give the aircraft a yawing moment. We then designate this engine here as the critical engine because this is the engine, if it were to lose this engine in flight, would cause the greatest yawing moment on the aircraft. To eliminate this, if we fit both a right hand and left hand prop to the aircraft, flying straight and level, both will have equal amount of thrust produced. If the aircraft pitches up, we've already seen that the downward moving prop increases its thrust and the upward moving prop decreases its thrust. So on the right hand prop, this would be the downward moving propeller blade and on the left hand, this will be the downward moving blade. Therefore, our truss vectors are still asymmetrically loaded, but we have no yawing moment. Mm -hmm.